we are dealing with the third part of the continuation of those videos in the first part what we have discussed regarding formulas we have put the three types of formulas in that regression analysis unit in the first uh, uh, part what we have done out of three methods first method belong to actual mean formula so you have two formulas in that one one is regression equation of x on y and the second one is regression equation of y on x how to find that mean is actual or not we have you have to check video second uh, part two video so then you can get correct idea regarding that once you are perfect with first and second video then this video will help you to get the second part and this one is the exam part means in exam maximum time they will they are going to ask you assumed mean problem question so what we need to do is whenever you find any question of regression equation first thing here they may give you marks in french marks in german or blood groups are given to you or marks in statistics or marks in mathematics two variables they can consider because we are doing regression it relates with two variables data now first variable always you have to consider variables in capital letters capital x and capital y after that what you have to do is first write down the values given to you
we have to cut take x y x into y x square y square and when b is assumed that means if you are making a perfect number of out of these two if any one value is having decimal that time what we have to do if any one value is having decimal that time we have to take a1 as well as a2 and columns will be dx dy dx into dy dx square dy square first foremost thing in any method of if at all we are finding regression equation of y or x or x or y or anything columns are x and y always capital letters then we have to find sigma x sigma y then finding total after finding total we have to find x bar and y bar means mean of x and mean of y once we got the values of mean if it has decimals then we have to take dx dy dx into dy dx square dy square if we don't find decimal to any one of the value that time small x small y x into y x square and y square so you have to these three videos whatever we have done they are related to one another now we have dx dx is x minus a1 and dy is y minus a2 x minus a2 then minus 28 again same thing 18 minus 28 25 minus 28 28 minus 28 33 minus 28 
then find mean of x, mean of y. Once we find decimal values, then you have to remember to write dx, dy, dx equal to dy, dx square and dy square. Once we have all the columns, what you have to get in dx, you have to remember this x minus a1. What is a1? a1 means whatever value is given, we are making perfect value. If you are taking is 29 also, that is right. If you are taking 30 here, both, both, both the values you found to take same values, you can consider it both as same values also. Now, x minus a1, whatever values of x, you have to subtract all the values by this first value. Then to get dy, y minus a2, 11 minus 30, 22 minus 30, in the way you get dy. Once we got dx and dy, this shows you to, this, this one shows you to multiply dx and dy values. How to multiply? These two you have to multiply by using calculator. If any one of the values are having minus sign, multiply signs then values. Here you are getting one negative value. So by using calculator, right, add all the positive values, then subtract 15 from that one. Here we have to add all the values. Then in dy square also we have to add all the values. Now, already added values I am taking here. So dx, sigma dx is plus 2, use calculator plus 15, plus 14, plus 6, 11, 6, say 5, then negative all the values, subtracting. Here also by using calculator, sigma dy is equals to minus 2. Then we have dx into dy, 1, 1. Five. Then we have dx is square. Sigma dx is square. One three six zero. Then we have sigma dy square. One one eight six. Okay. So. After calculation of those columns, find the sum of all the columns. In the previous problem, we have not taken sigma x and sigma y. Here we are using this one. Now we have to find the equation of y on x. Equation. Equation of y on x. So quite lengthy formula. In first video, we have discussed regarding this formula y minus y bar equals to all both are capital letters equals to sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy by n either capital or small n you are wish then we have sigma because y value we have to take x here sigma dx square minus sigma dx whole square by n into x minus x bar. See, to get good marks in final exam, what you have to remember is, in formulas, don't do any sort of leniency in by adding the formula. You have to get perfectly by heart those formulas given to you in first video. What we have, this one is the second time, assumed mean. That means, if we find decimals here, then we are getting these colors. If we don't find decimal, we are not going to get these columns, the columns are different. That point you have to remember. Then when we are writing regression equation of y on x, it starts with y. And here if we are dealing with x, both should be x values. In this way you can remember. Now y minus y bar. Y bar means don't take assumed mean. Y bar means whatever original value of y bar is there, that we have to take 29.8. Then sigma dx dy. What is sigma dx dy value? Total value 1138. Here maximum people will get confused in substituting the values. Here sigma dx, we don't have any sigma here. Sigma dx dy single value, single value. So sigma dx dy single value 1135. Then sigma dx and sigma dy, I have considered them in brackets so that you can easily substitute them in brackets. Sigma dx is plus 2, sigma dy is minus 2 by n. Total number of tens but uh, terms were 10. Then sigma dx square 1360 minus sigma dx in bracket sigma dx is 2 by n into x minus mean of x. So that means whatever x mean is there 28.2 we have to write here. Got it? Once again check it out. What they have given? 
regression equation of y on x we have to find y minus y bar equals to square bracket of sigma dx given minus consider this to be in brackets then divided by n don't take whole divided by n just take divided by n to these two values then divided by sigma dx square this this sigma dx does not have any bracket so as it is this one sigma dx whole square this is under bracket and denominator does not have any bracket then x minus x bar here now y bar means don't take a1 or a2 a1 a2 only for column simplification then once we have y bar and x bar values here simplification we have to do for simplification what we can do is we have to be very careful by doing this one 11 28 minus c to minus c plus 4 by 10 is 0.4 divided by 360 minus 2 square is 4 by 10 again 0.4 x minus 28.2 got it simplify that part first then subtract the values add the values right once again y minus 29.8 1138.4 by 360 minus 0.4 59.6 into x minus 28.2. Now calculation part. With the help of calculator, because you have a provision of using it. So we have. The value is 30, 1138.4, 1138.4 divided by 1138.4 into 1138.4 divided by 1138.4 divided by 1138.4 So we have 0.8373. This one as it is 0.8373. Correct. So four decimals also you can consider. Then y minus 28. As it is, this value is multiplied to x. Minus then the same value is multiplied to second one into 28.2. So this is 23.61. Now y equals to 0.8373x minus 23.612 plus 29.8. Now minus 23.612. First make it zero. Minus five minus first twenty three point six one two plus twenty nine point eight six point one double eight. So y equals to zero point eight three seven three x plus six point one double eight. This is regression equation of y on x. Similarly, if the last few regression equation of x on y also can find the same pattern. First thing, any regression equation of first and second type contains same equation. It looks like same, but by finding x bar and y bar, we can consider the remaining columns, whether to take d with the column or not. Why we'll consider d? D stands for decimal. You can think. D x regression in x means decimal value. If you find decimal values. Then we are taking dx, dy. Then this one. Better to buy hard the column names so that in the exam don't feel uh, uh, you will not feel anything. It will not be uh, question to be tough in that pattern. If you are good in the column, if you are revising it, if you are buy harding it at the time of revision, then only then it will be helpful to you. After getting the values of x and x bar and y bar, what when decimals are there? A1 and A2 we have to consider. Then subtracting that one. From x and y, then after getting the columns, most important thing is formula. You have to be very perfect in that formulas. Now y minus y bar. After writing the formula, substitution part is there. In substitution, uh, substitution part to get perfect, you have to solve two to three problems. Then only you are going to get this one. So you can score well marks easily from this one. One more time is there when values are given that we will discuss it very next week.